So it is Wednesday morning, and we are about to cast off from the Holiday Harbor Marina. We had an eventful night last night. After getting in and enjoying the sunset, we uh, went over to have dinner in the restaurant, and we watched the first half of the tragic Wake Forest basketball game in the NCAA tournament. It was fun while it lasted. And then uh, we came back to our boat, uh, which was docked right outside the restaurant. We thought it was going to be a lovely night, and we had no power. The uh, electric stack that they hooked us up to, the second one that they hooked us up to when we had got here, uh, wasn't working anymore, and there was nobody in the marina to help us. So Keep in mind, it's 38 <clears throat> degrees last night, and we were surviving exactly with low, our space heater in the cabin. Overnight low of actually 35, I think, and so we were um, relying on the space heater to keep us warm even though our sleeping bags are rated for negative 15 <laughs> degrees. So uh, we were a little bit upset. We went back to the restaurant and had the uh, the restaurant manager try to call the, the um, dock master, dock master uh, but he wouldn't answer his phone. Uh, so she was basically like, you know, just move yourself anywhere you can find power. So we, uh, so we started searching around for empty slips that had active power that would meet our connection needs. Um, we ended up at the fuel dock. So yep. I don't know if they cared for that, but we didn't care last night. Uh, <laughs> it was really cold and we needed power, so uh, so we spent the night at the fuel dock and that worked The guy, fine. Yeah, we, so we got settled in maybe around 10.30. We were pretty annoyed because we were walking around in the high 30 degree weather trying to find an electric hookup. Uh, got settled into our sleeping bags, we're dozing off to sleep, and the guy finally called us back at around 11.30 at night, uh, and we told him uh, we were on the fuel dock and we didn't care what he said, so we <laughs> stayed <not> here. <laughs> we stayed here. He was trying to get us to move back over to the other dock and try out this adapter that he had. I wasn't yeah, going we to wasn't gonna play <laughs> We were, Hold we were me, finally play warm. That. <laughs> so yeah, I was done with that, and we went to sleep. Woke up this morning, uh, cooked some coffee and, and oatmeal on the uh, picnic tables nearby, cleaned up the boat, cleaned up ourselves, and now we're ready to head out. We're heading to Pensacola Yacht Club today. Hopefully uh, they'll have nicer facilities yeah. and electricity that works. Should be about a three hour sail, I think, think so, yeah. Like um, it's still cold, but it's sunny as you can see, um, much more pleasant than it has been. Um, We'll um, you know get into the water waters and see what the breeze is over there, but it's uh, it's pretty light here. But we're in a very narrow uh, channel right now. So it's it's kind of uh, yeah, and we're gonna have to probably do a little bit more motoring than we'd like to today because it is a narrow channel through much of the intercoastal uh, for the next few miles. And then when we get to Pensacola Bay, there's a lot of uh, traffic through the inlet and in and out of the city ferries and big industrial ships and and uh, there's restricted areas and whatnot so it may be hard to sail because you know when you sail you got to go where the wind directs you uh, maybe not in a straight shot up a channel so we may have to do more motoring than we would love to today but we'll still be out there is. on the water and yeah. uh, we'll have a good time yeah. Connor unfortunately has a pretty nasty cold so that's been I can't stop sneezing not great for morale on board I'm sorry but <laughs> You know, he's being a trooper about it, so. All these beautiful videos of the beautiful sunsets and the sails across Perdido Bay, you probably hear me hacking away with my cough in the background. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, <coughs> we, we've been better about applying sunscreen so far this morning. We got a little burned yesterday, even though it was cloudy. Uh, we should have known better, but anyway, so I think it's uh, it's time to head off and see what today brings. Bon voyage. So this is just a little look at the inside of Isla while we're uh, getting ready to be underway. So we have you know, a fair amount of stuff we've had to bring to, to live on here for a week. Um, so things are not as um, you know, neat and clean as they would be if we weren't uh, on the boat right now, but uh, this is what we have. So basically we have our bags uh, shoved back onto the V-berth in the back. Um, and that'll you know, get moved when we, when we sleep there at night. Um, we have our little compartment of things here. The power cord gets tidied up uh, back where the porta potty is. Over here, 
and then that gets stowed there. And then all the dishes are put away under the bench here. And then all of our jackets and bags and things like that are stowed away. And the ukulele. And the ukulele. All right. uh, and I'll just turn around here. There's a little sink. I'll put this teapot inside the sink so that it doesn't rattle around when we're underway. And those oranges better go somewhere better Skittles. than that because they went flying yesterday. And there's our food cooler. Uh, this is about as neat and clean as we get on this trip um, because there's a lot of stuff in a small space. So there's Connor up top getting ready to depart for the day. This is where I'm kept during missions. It's the only place you can stand. <laughs> All right, and we've got our solar panel out, and charging our cell phones, and drying our towels over the rail. It's sunny today. It's still cold, but it feels much nicer because it's sunny. And we get our solar panel charging the, uh, the boat battery. And we're going to replace our life sling. We had to remove that to, to tie up last night, but put that back and then we will get underway. What do you think, Connor? I think we're ready to go. All right, let's do it.
sure that's alive. Bit of a bummer seeing that dead sea turtle in the water. Uh, it's a juvenile loggerhead turtle. Uh, there's probably a lot of them around here. Lots of things uh, are uh, mortality factors for those turtles. Um, they get caught in shrimping nets and drown. Crab pots causes the turtle to go in there to eat the bait or even eat the crabs that the crabbers have trapped. But um, they get caught on the ground. And then there's also just problems with plastic consumption. Uh, they choke or it, it blocks up the digestive system and they can't pass. Uh, so lots of conservation issues with sea turtles uh, here in the, in the Gulf, really everywhere. Uh, so seeing them. Uh, it's sad, it sucks to see a dead turtle floating in the water like that, but it, you know, it's a reminder about the importance of, of your trash and reducing plastic or uh, thinking about where your shrimp comes from when you're ordering dinner at a restaurant, you know, that kind of thing. So hopefully we can turn these unfortunate uh, observations and experiences into, into positives, I guess. deep water right up to the uh, National Seashore over here so we took a little detour from the inter intercoastal waterway and thought we'd come check out the dunes and see if there's any birds and whatnot. If it was a warmer afternoon it'd be great to throw out the anchor and put on our swimsuits but since it's about 52 degrees, I think we might skip that step. Spotted some dolphin. I'm under the water with my glasses. I'm up for air.
inlet to the Gulf we just passed. 